Fine. Yo, what's up? We got two iPhones here. iPhone 6. Um, also, in a, or, um, a 7. We're going to do a little, little test of some default apps. So what default apps are going to run better on what phone? Let's start with both. Okay. First up, we're going to try and do FaceTime as equal as possible. Now, this is on iOS 12, and this is on iOS 14. It's not really meant to be complete fair test, but let's just see what one's faster. Okay, so, two, one. As you can see, expected, the seven did load up faster. Let's go home. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the calendar application on both. As you can see, it looks like I would say the seven launched a little faster. Let's go home. All right, now for the bigger ones, let's go photos. Definitely the seven there. Let's try the camera app. Oh, I missed that one. Let's retry that. We'll give this one a free open too, just because it deserves it. That one got one. This one will get one. Three, two, one. Ooh, that one was a close one. The six actually might have won. But I did open that one. Oh, come on. I can never get the end, guys. So there's something wrong with the six screen. On the end, so I really got to push or something. There we go. I would definitely say the 7 won that. So, yeah, this, the edge part of the screen here glitches. Like, sometimes I'll come in and I'll see the screen going weird. And that's just because it's kind of old. But, okay, let's try email. You got to know sometimes. You got to be able to check your email. Let's go to email. This one definitely loads. Oh, that one, I wasn't looking. I was looking at the camera and the exposure is too bright. Look at that screen. It's actually not that bad, though. It doesn't look that bad. It just looks way worse on the camera. Just ignore that. Let's just turn the brightness levels down real fast. There we go. That's a little better, I would say. Let's try that email again. I believe it was the 7 that won that. Yeah, 7 for sure. All right, let's go to the clock app. Oh, missed that on the 6 again. I'm really sorry, guys. The 6 has a weird... Display, sometimes it will not work. So let's just try this again. Definitely, definitely the seven. And you guys are going to say, well, the other one wasn't on the timer section. So I'm going to play this fair and set both to two minutes, both on timer section. I'm going to go back into clock. And it was still a seven. Let's try maps. So this is going to be really important if you got to get somewhere. Maybe you don't have the best internet. You got to see if you can get there fast. So let's do this. Maps. You definitely get that win on the 7 here. We did have a pop-up, but regardless if we have a pop-up or not, it should still be the same. Let's go home. Let's go to, um, what was next? Weather app. It's definitely the, I don't care what you say, it definitely loaded the current location first on the 7 and loaded the app first on the 7 as well. Now, this is a different story. These are two different apps. Find my and find my iPhone. So this is not really a fair test, but let's just try it anyway. Definitely, well, obviously find my is going to win because, well, it's find my and it doesn't require a login. So you know that one's going to win. Let's go to, well, we don't have find my friends anymore on iOS 14. So let's try YouTube. Well, YouTube's not on here. We're about done basically with the default apps, guys. As you can see... We also have a changed music icon. So here's our iOS 14 music icon. Here's our iOS 12 music icon. All right. Next up, we are going to try some. Now I'm going to download YouTube on this phone. And we're going to try and download um, YouTube on here and see how fast it is. We'll just download another app on here just to equal it out. I know it's not the same app. But we got to download YouTube on it. So let's go. Let's just search up YouTube. And while YouTube is downloading, we will try and open TikTok. So let's try that. I have TikTok on both these devices. Let's open TikTok. Whoa. Let's open TikTok on the phones. Let's go TikTok. Now these are third-party apps. Oh, let's, we, we didn't do the app store. We didn't finish these. Okay, these is worth it. Oh, well, let's just close out of these. We did basically technically do App Store. Let's try it again. As you can see, the 7 is going to win on these because these are app-based. These are like default 
N not really, though. They use internet. So they do take more time. I don't think I have books on the 7. Oh, I do. Okay, let's try. 3, 2, 1. Definitely the 7 on this one. Still loading on the 6. He'll be sitting in class waiting. Yep. So definitely the 7 there. I, if I said definitely the 6 the first time, I'm wrong. It's definitely the 7. That one loaded way faster. Um, okay, let's try to go to some... Uh, some health on both devices. Definitely the 7 even launched the app faster. And we just got into that one. Let's try the next one. Settings. Oh, well, screen didn't register that one. Yep, 7 instantly loads. 6 does not. Let's swipe over and see what we got. YouTube's still downloading. Let's go TikTok real fast. I know you guys are saying this one has more apps. It doesn't really matter. You guys are using these phones in day-to-day -day life. And it does not matter how much apps you have on them. It might slow it down, okay? But if the seven's still winning with more apps, you basically know the seven's going to be better. Like, this phone is definitely older. It doesn't support iOS 14 anymore. Let me open the latest versions on both these phones. So let's do this. Let's go to settings was already loaded on both let's go to general in this video i'm basically just testing the default apps and we'll do games in the next video when i can get some downloaded on these devices um let's go to about oh that one missed yeah, it looks like it was a six but we already loaded that first so that's why it worked on the six um so as you can see on the seven here we got 14.5 and on the 6 here, got 12.5.1. Latest iOS 12 update right there. Also, I could do a 5S test if you would like, but I need a charger on that constantly. And we already know the 5S would lose, the 6 would be second, and the 7 would be first. I could try it, though. Maybe try it tonight. Um, but anyway, let's try some TikTok. So, where's my TikTok? Okay, 3, 2, 1. I was both. I was signed in on both these devices, so this one wins first, and we still have the six loading. I wasn't signed in on the six, but regardless, the seven went a lot faster. Um, let's try some YouTube. This is probably gonna be the last one, pretty much for today, um, because well, I don't have much more on these phones, but I could download more. As you guys, if you were paying attention, the battery on the six has just went from thirty six. To 24 and 8 minutes. Meanwhile, I think this has only went down 4%. So that's not bad. Anyway, my battery charging case is not charged because I didn't forget to charge that last night, but that's okay. Let's open some YouTube. YouTube's not signed in on the phone, this phone right here. Regardless, we're going to see what one wins. And it doesn't really matter. It's honestly equal because it takes just as much time to prepare the sign in screen as it takes to prepare your feed and i know guys it takes internet to do both if i turned off internet went into this youtube not signed in it would not even load so it's a fair base it's not the fairest test but i'm not i wasn't really prepared and i'm gonna get more prepared with the next test tonight i'm sorry if these phones were not in the right direction and also in this video but let's head ourselves into some youtube Okay, definitely the 7, and it has to load the whole feed. we we'll get the ad. Let's see if we can skip. We basically skipped that whole ad and loaded the whole YouTube page before we got in on the 6. All right, guys, that's about it. I might have some other apps here. Did we do notes? Let's test some RAM. These are basic apps, I know, but let's see. YouTube, obviously, is still open. Uh, let's go some TikTok. TikTok, open on both phones, did not reload. Do some settings, open on both phones, did not reload. Okay, I don't get confused on what we just did. Health. Um, I can't tell if it reloaded on the 7, but I don't think it did. Let's go to the books. Mm, little freeze up on the 6. Other than that, we're not doing bad. 
App Store. Nope. Like I said, these games are, or these are not games. I will download some games and I will do another. These are not games though, so these aren't going to push the phones too hard. Games like Asphalt 9, if it's still supported on the 6, I'll definitely get it and I'll take this test tonight. But yeah, let's go over. I'm losing track. Here, let's go to find my iPhone and find my. Now, these are two different apps now, basically, but they're still the same tracking. So let's open both. Looks like we're open on both phones. Let's go to weather. Another leg up on the um, six. But not doing bad. Maps was ne next. Maps. Oh, we got to load reload on the six um guys the screen really does not look this bad in real life okay this is really just a glitch on the camera obviously it's not the best looking right now but it does not look that bad in real life there's not a literal big amount of damage on that screen even the seven looks like it is it's just the angle of my lighting right now Let's see if i can actually no that really didn't do anything Okay, guys, so we're going to go to the next one. What was next on this list? I believe it was, like, clock. Yeah, it was clock. We got another reload on the six. So, as we, see, as we get farther back, we're getting more and more reloads. All right, next up is mail. Let's go to some mail. Okay, not a reload on either. With mail, camera, this might be a different story. We did get a reload and a stutter on the 6. Let's snap a photo fast. So you can see the 7 did snap a photo faster. Oh, I miss. Oh, oh, 7 lagged. So they're about the same. Let's do front face. And let's do my old spam trick. Oh, we got to turn flash off. And also, the front-facing camera on the new 14 iOS phone, iOS 14 phones, do have a um, flash. Well, the older phone doesn't. I'm, I, I promise, guys, I'm not going against the 6 in this video. The 6 is still awesome. If this phone it wins, like, I've admitted it won in a couple concepts. But it's a lot older than the 7. There's a few versions. So let's just kind of tap same time. Pretty much equal. Sometimes the six will win, sometimes the seven. Let's do a spam. Ooh, that six is definitely winning on the spam. Okay, yeah, six wins the spam test on camera. I will admit. Okay, next up would be photos. Let's do that. Looks like... Well, when I clicked it, none reloaded, but it looks like the new photos I take loaded first on this before they loaded on this. So that's just a little thing to keep in mind of. You won't even notice these things. Just if you're testing these like me, you want to get those fine details. All right, next up, calendar. As you can see on both the phones, we do have different calendar icons in the apps, which are this calendar icon. It doesn't, like, change. Where this calendar icon is, it says the actual date. So let's press calendar on both phones. Looks like these six got a reload. That is expected. Let's go over to the last app. Oh, I didn't do... We got a little more apps to do. We're just testing the RAM on these ones right now. Let's go over to some FaceTime. None reloaded. All right, let's close out of these and let's continue with the rest of the apps. All right, looks like our app switchers are cleared. By the way, I do have control center open on both. Let's do a quick restart on both these phones. So try and restart them at the same time or close to the same time. This one is down to 19 now and this one is at 61. So they're both dropping, but I'm... The 6 is definitely dropping a little more, and that's to do with older battery. Let's just try and swipe both these down. 3, 2, 1. Okay, I'll let go identical, guys. You won't tell me different. 
If, let's see what one we see our loading circle on. That identifies some... Oh! The seven got a loading circle. The six didn't. That's a good sign for the six in that case. This will sometimes happen. This just means the phone's preparing to turn off. But I actually like the circle a little bit. It just tells me. All right, let's do this. Three, two, one. Okay, seven is still lagging. All right, they both just booted. So the seven, when you press it, since the home button is not physical, it's not going to boot as fast. You got to hold for five seconds. This, you only got to hold for like two. But I think the seven still will win the six just because it's newer. Anyway, let's wait till these Fultons boot up. All right, so it's been a good solid little bit. The seven does win the boot up test. What one will unlock fastest? Ooh, I think the six won a little bit there, but I think I know the reason for it. On the seven, we got widget. On the six, we physically can't have a widget. So, let's test some more apps. Let's test the dock. Phone. Definitely loads and opens faster on the seven. Now, this happens on this phone, and I know I just smacked it against the other phone. That's not the reason this volume button sometimes goes off, but it's just because of the case. So, yeah. Let's go to some Safari, and we'll load a web page on Safari as well. Oh, well, well, we already had a web page loading on the iPhone 7. Um, okay, let's just get the heck out of that. And let's just go to a new tab on both phones and then try this again. Okay, it looks like, I don't know, the seven has a lot more, the six has a lot more bookmarks, so that's not really a fair test. Let's go to Apple on both these phones. I hit the si I didn't hit the, I didn't even hit them, guys. Sorry about that. Let's go to Apple at the same time on both the phones. I hit them exact identical that time, identical. And as you can see, the seven loads that first. Let's just do a little scrolling. Smooth on each. Okay. Next, we'll do... Let's make sure I don't have any private messages before I start this. I'm just with any numbers or anything. Okay, solid. I open them but let's close them out again this is just like resetting the app so there's no difference if they did get relaunched then that's okay well they did get relaunched but if you open it and close it we're gonna see how that performance is okay we definitely got loading first on the seven right there let's go home let's do music now oh i keep the set the six keeps messing up like there's more damage right down here on the screen, and it just keeps messing up. It doesn't, I have to literally pound it to get it to work. Okay, but here's the thing. It looks like the 7 actually loaded the app first, but the 6 loaded the content. But here's the thing with that. There was no content. It just said, looking for your music. This one actually loaded content. You see what I mean? So I would give the clear win to the 7. I would give the clear win to the 7 because it actually loaded content in the same time that this one basically loaded nothing. Basically loaded some text where this one loaded this high quality image. So that's just what I'm saying. It loaded a lot more UI as well. We got all this UI that this thing loaded in the same amount of time that this one just loaded text. So definitely the 7 on that one. And I believe that is it for the apps, guys. Um... Oh, well, we didn't do notes. Let's do that. I don't think we did notes. Oh, well, that's my TikTok thing I made. Um, I would say it was not really fair because that one was already open. Um, but, yeah. I don't think I have iTunes. Oh, I do. Let's do some more. Let's do what I have on here. Let's do iTunes Store. Three, two, one. Definitely the 7. I can get into the iTunes Store before this one loads. Let's try some of the, huh, 
podcasts. Do I have podcasts? Yeah. So, once again, this one loads a lot more con- Oh, never mind. They both have the same content. This one loaded the content first. They have the exact same content. So, this was actually a really fair test. If you need, rewind this video and look at what this content was. Let's go to a random thing. Um, let's just open a random... podcast here um so as you can see the new podcast app right here um i don't even know how to work the old one anymore uh, i don't even know how okay i'm just gonna play the latest on both you know as crime junkies we're always looking for clues or nothing has yet happened on here and it's still loading now, this is an issue i've had i've found that one of the hardest so as you can see, they both do play. I'm gonna resume both. When I used to use this phone as my main phone back in the way day, this phone always did this. This iOS 12 thing. Never. Sometimes it will not load. I wanted to go in the shower one day, have my phone just resting here on the counter, and I want to play some podcasts. It sits there and loads. So, yeah, that wasn't good. But, yeah. Taking care of your mental health is... There's mental health. Yeah. Oh, that leg. Did you see that leg? Definitely rewind that and look at that. That's to take... In. That'll save you about 16 seconds a... Two years if you don't get that leg. Hmm, what else do we got? Okay, let's try some files now. Might have to back out of this one in case I have any important stuff. But let's go into some files. Three, two, one. Now this is going to... Oh, didn't register on either phone. This is going to load every file I have in my iCloud. Ooh! You know what I would say? I would say the 6 won that. But, oh! Yeah! I'd say the 6 won that. Clear. Okay. Not bad. I'd say the six won that test. Let's close out of things and let's go to voice memos. Definitely tie. You can comment that one below. Let's go to some utilities. Uh, let's go to some compass. Definitely seven won that one. And the six needs to be calibrated, which the seven doesn't. So if I spin this one around... Looks like we're calibrated. We got our spin thing. I don't think you can access this anymore. On the 7. That is not available anymore to access, which is kind of a bummer. It's kind of cool. It tells you when things are level. So that's level. This is not. That's level. My recording area right now is, is not level. It's negative 1. So, but right here, it's about level. So this is actually a pretty cool feature. I like this. And it's not available anymore. All right, next up, we'll do calculator. You got to get, you got to do your math problems. You got to get that calculator open. Let's see how fast it loads. We got an error on the seven. That's okay. I'll just hit clear. And it's zeros. So that one was okay. I didn't really pay attention. Let's try this again. All right, I'd definitely say the seven. It looks like nothing even was closed with a six had a millisecond of blackness so let's try this again see what i mean yeah i definitely say the seven that'll save you about a second a year um let's do the apple watch app two one definitely the seven right there that'll save you a good hour a year or hour each two years if you want to be serious so, everything is just faster. It's lagging on the 6. If I do this on the 7, it's, it's fast. Look at this. The 6, it just lags. I'm not going to lie. All right. Let's go do some... Uh, what do I have here? What else is on this phone? Tips. No one ever uses this, but we'll see how it loads. Okay, solid. Let's press our what's new. Swipe a little bit. And... 
Swiping is about the same as so welcome to iPhone. Welcome to iPhone. We got our welcome to iPhone mods. Uh, we got a lot more on the 7 and it still loaded the data faster. So that's impressive. Next, we got record. Well, what's the point of doing that? I don't know. Let's see how fast it takes to switch the camera modes. Let's go to video. Let's turn this just so we get more better perspective. If you want to know what I'm filming this video with, I'm filming this video with my 11 Pro Max just for testing purposes. And the camera quality is pretty good on my end. I don't know about your guys' end, but it's clear on mine. All right, let's see how fast it takes to switch the video. I'll move these up. All right, honestly, there's no difference. It's equal. You can't even hear two phones doing it because it's so identical. So that's clear. Okay, it looks like the 7 loaded the slow-mo faster. Seven's overall fat. The 7 is overall faster in the slow-mo function. Let's try time-lapse. Oh, I didn't hit that one correct. Uh, about equal again. Let's start a recording on both. Okay, the first time we got a faster on the 7, but then they were about equal. All right, guys, that's about it for this test video. Um, we got both iPhones right here. They both work good. Um, let's just see what one charges faster. I know this is a dumb test, but let's just see. All right, let's move this a little bit. Whew. All right, let's see what one charges faster. Let's switch this around here. I will download some games right after I make this video, so I am able to show you the game performance. Let's plug it in. Uh-oh. Okay, not bad. Actually, it doesn't charge on the other side anymore. This has been happening for a while. Let's try this. See if it's just the cord. No, that's definitely an issue with the actual phone. I might just need to clean out the port. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to flip that to charge the phone. Um, let's see how fast it takes to turn a screen on from charging each phone. Not bad. Let's try the seven. But keep in mind, I have a battery case connected, so it's going to make it longer. Yeah, it might have been a little longer because of that case. But it really doesn't have a difference. They both charge moderately okay. Let's start. I don't know, guys. I think that's it for the test. Let's see. Let's see how fast we can enter passwords on each Looks like this one did disable first, but this one has a security feature checking to make sure if it's the right finger or whatever. So yeah, it's more secure, so I'd say that. This phone has the, I believe, A8 or A9. This phone has a newer chip. I don't even, didn't even look into it. Like an A, it's an A10 chip in here. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I will record again tonight when I get these games. I might record tomorrow. It might be a couple days, but I got to figure out some games that work on both of these phones. So we got the six. I would say overall in 2020, I wouldn't do. If you have this device laid around and want to keep it for your child or anyone, or well, yeah, or any reason, it's okay to keep. It's not a bad phone. Seven is still an okay phone to use full time. So, oh, they both got on disabled. Um, but yeah, they're both pretty good phones, honestly, guys. I'd say the 7 for sure. It has more actual hardware benefits too. It doesn't This phone, I went to touch the home button yesterday and apparently whatever was on my finger, which my finger was 
pretty much dry. It got there. It goes away, but it's kind of getting ridiculous, guys. Um, but this phone is, no, this phone is, like, perfectly fine. Nothing will happen to this phone, and nothing should have happened to this phone. This phone has been battery replaced. This phone has had a bad battery before. And it was so bad, it would just say, say it's at 100, right? Say it's at 100, right? Okay, let me just make a, let me just ex tell you what this is at, okay? Not charging, let's flip the charger over. All right. Let me just show you, for example, I'm going to try to hard reset this to show you. For example, I would unplug the um, charger, and it would die just like this. Now, I, I purposely did this. This phone's been badly replaced. But this is what used to happen. It would not boot unless it was plugged in. Like, uh, all right. So, yeah, that, they might not have put the water seal back in the phone. Make sure they do this because this will happen to you. You will go wash your hands and come back with a drip of water. If it touches, if it touches this home button, you are going to see it in your screen. I don't know if that will go away. This top one didn't. That's stuck. That's permanent. Uh, it's, it doesn't really matter because I don't really use this phone much anymore because it's my old, old one. But it doesn't matter. That's not supposed to happen with a normal phone. Yeah. That's about it for the review, guys. The 7 and the 6 are both good phones. I'll take the 7 out of the case so you can see what the back looks like. You can basically see what the 6 looks like already. It's, it's a clear case. So that I kind of custom made. So here we go. Let's kind of just get them in the light here. Um, this is what both the iPhones look like. And I'll, you know what? I'm bringing in my 5S. You can forward 10 seconds on this video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back, and here's my 5S that I could film on, or we'll make a video with. So let me take this out of the case real fast. Now, this is a hard one to get out because it's physically glued into the case because the screen will come off. Let's just carefully take it out of the case. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely taped. All right, here's my 5S, guys. Definitely want to be careful with that phone. Um, my six, here's the front. Seven, here's the front. And five S, here's the front. Every single one of these phones work perfectly fine. Now let's just do screen off and I'll show you. Six, work. Obviously the seven works. And the five S works, surprisingly. Um, so yeah, this one has to be constantly plugged in though. We will do a review on this. So let's put both the phones back in the case and see what one is the hardest. The seven will be the six as well, as well basically. I right, guess so I want to make sure I get the tape from this phone into the case. So here's a review on how hard the case is to get in the phone. The phone is to get in the case. 5S, easy. Let's do the seven. Now the wireless case, the battery case is not charged, so I have to charge it tonight. You simply slide it in, and the seven is pretty easy to put in any case, to be honest. All right. And the six is just like the seven, basically just pop it right in, basically just like the five. Well, that is it for today's review video on these iPhones. And yeah, guys, well, both the, all the iPhones are very good iPhones. They all work. They're very, except the 5S, I would not include this in day-to-day, day-to-day use. The SE, if you want something that looks like the 5S, go to the SE. I, I could have been able to, re, um, film about the the se but it doesn't work and i don't even know where it's at so yeah but these are all good phones if you have this phone and you're like a kid or something and it's in good condition it's okay it's a phone it's just like the six a little older 
little slower, but it runs the same software as the 6 phone. If you have the choice to upgrade and you can only go to the 7, don't be bummed. This is a very good phone. Touch ID is really fast. Sometimes you'll have occasional legs and screen blanks like that one. That happens on every iPhone 7 and 8. 8 Plus and 7 Plus, the Plus versions are okay. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. See you guys tonight or tomorrow. Um, I don't know. I'm going to get some games on all these phones. We're going to test them. Start with Asphalt 9 on all the phones just before I leave to download because that's a big game. So the 5S ain't charged. We'll have to do that tomorrow. But we'll do the 7 and the 6 right now. And then I'm going to end off this video. It's been long. Let's go into App Store. We're going to download a big game, Asphalt 9. It's actually a pretty big game, so. Let's see here. Asphalt 9. All right, let's search it up. Asphalt 9. And we're going to download both these at the same time. So let's search it up on the 6 now. I always look for the recommendations. Asphalt 9. All right. There we go. 3, 2, 1, go. Downloading both items on each phone. Let's go home. And as you can see, it popped up first on the 7, nothing on the 6. Oh, just came up. It's actually loading on the 6, waiting on the 7. Let's tap the 7. Still waiting, guys. I'm going to explain a little bit. This game is a large game. These phones heat up while playing this game because this game is a big graphics game. I don't even know if I have enough space on the 7, do I? No, it's not even downloading on the 7. All right, guys, you'll run into issues after, like, a re erase or a reset, which was happened on this 7. But, oh, we got two ass. Oh, that's the wrong asphalt. Uh-oh, I don't want, okay. This one's still trying. That was not an issue. I just made a mistake there. This one's just going to download the game still. But it's probably going to take a bit because it was just refreshed. This one is actually loading the game downloading. This one is not. I don't know what's going on with this phone right now, but it just kind of stuck there. If I check our iPhone storage on both phones, this 7 is a 32 gig, and this 6 is a 64 gig. iPhone storage. As you can see, we have a lot more on the 6 than the 7 because I don't use the 6 much anymore, so it's just kind of there. I only use it for reviews, mostly. The 7 is still waiting on the game, guys. I'm going to end this video. Oh, it's loading. It's, it started loading. We're loading on Asphalt 9 on the, the 7. Well, you probably already know what one's going to win because it started first, which is the 6. But my 7 might be connected to a different router because my 6 has been in my room. My 7 has been out today and along with my 11. So that's kind of explaining that. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.